All right, thanks so much for that, Becky. Well, I'm joined now by Superintendent Colonel Herman Jones with the Kansas Highway Patrol. How was your weekend? Uh, it was pretty good. It pretty, was pretty good? good. Yes, okay, you wake up with dirt on your car this morning, like yeah. Becky said? Or? Becky was talking about that, <laughs> and fortunately, my vehicle is in a garage. So oh, man. <laughs> okay, so it's pristine and clean. Well, then. yes. Well, good news, <laughs> good news. So I know that exactly one week ago, you guys launched a new program called SAFE. So this is to help those high schoolers, middle schoolers, mm -hmm. promote wearing their seat belts, right? So yeah. how do you guys plan on getting those high schoolers and getting those kids to encourage them to wear their seat belts? Because as we know, that age group can be a, a little bit stubborn, right? Right, right. Well, you know, safe is uh, seat belts are for everyone. So that's what that means. But basically, it's a program that started here in Kansas, actually in Crawford County there, where we, we uh, the, the local sheriff there saw where uh, the high schoolers were not wearing their seat belts. So a plan was how do you get the kids engaged? So there's an incentive program along with a pledge that individuals will wear the seatbelts. And we've seen a, a dramatic increase across the state and uh, not everyone, not everywhere. So what we want is 100%. So that's where our program comes along. Uh, well, we're working around the high schools and around the schools for those drivers and passengers to wear seatbelts there. So uh, it's, it's basically an enforcement and an education. Definitely. How long has the program been going on, you said? Oh, it's been going on for, uh, I'm trying to think of the years or so, but uh, uh, over 10, 15 years at least. It's wonderful. So. I mean, there's 120 high schools that participate. Correct. So definitely, mm -hmm. you know, important and great that you guys are seeing promising results right. with that program there. And mm -hmm. it's really just in time for St. Mm -hmm. Patrick's Day. I know that right. a lot of people, it's typically, a, you know, a holiday that is associated mm -hmm. with drinking. So right. how are you guys planning to combat any, you know, drunk driving and, and um, you know, reckless driving that we might be seeing around those times this well, year? Well, you know, just like programs like today, it's just about education, uh, making sure the individuals are aware of it celebrate, enjoy it, but let's not make it a tragedy for individuals or so. So pre-planning, we know that uh, the St. Patty's Day is gonna be on a Friday. It leads right oh into a goodness, weekend. Yep. Uh, if you go back, uh, I believe it was uh, 2020, there were 37 people that were killed across this, the nation on the one night, uh, and, it, and it all relates to alcohol and those deaths mm -hmm. right there. So we, we want Kansas to be safe. So think ahead, uh, have, a, have a plan have someone else drive. Uh, you know, you got the, the Ubers and Lyfts, taxis and those type of things right there. So our officer's gonna be there. Uh, okay. Typical Friday night and those type of things right there. Uh, so education, let's think ahead. Let's make it safe. And be safe. Yes. Just be safe yeah. and definitely, you know, use your brain, use your noggin, and um, mm -hmm. definitely don't get in a car if you've had any sort of alcohol in your system. Right. And mm -hmm. I know that, you know, on a more personal note, you recently announced that you were going to be retiring. So do you have anything to say about your time with the Kansas Highway Patrol uh -huh. and just kind of starting this new, um, you know, new time in your life? Yeah, you know, it comes with mixed emotions. You know, uh, law enforcement has been uh, my career. Uh, over 45 years somewhere along the line in, involved in highway patrol uh, three different times. I actually is working as a, a road trooper and also an administration, also superintendent there. So uh, my, my uh, retirement gives me more time for the family. I've got grandkids now, and it's time, it's time to move on to the next stage there. So I'm looking forward to it, I really am. And I, I truly appreciate the opportunity that uh, the governor has given me and also the people that I get to work with. We appreciate having you on the show, and we're going to miss you being on the show, but um, thank you so much for coming on today and speaking about those topics for us, Colonel. Well, thank you for having me on. All right, thanks.